All right, all right. We are back. We are back. We are back. In the last section, we were configuring access management for our Windows operating systems, okay, for our Windows servers. We were configuring access to certain files, certain folders. We were configuring group access, GPOs. Now we are going to do something similar to our Linux environment, all right? Similar things, different operating systems, different commands, different tools. So let's log into our Linux VM. I'm already at Kali. I just need to log in. So we know our username and password. We have root password. And this lab here is gonna help us get better with some of our terminal skills, our command line tools, and just being able to navigate through the terminal. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal. We can hit this shortcut here. All right. So first thing we're going to do in this section, or the first few things we're going to do, we're going to create some users. We're going to create some users, and then we're going to create some groups to add them to. So we're going to first start by creating our users. We have user one and user o2 okay and they're going to have the same password yep so they're going to have the same password so let's go ahead and do that we're going to do user add user o1 okay and then if i hit the up button to add user o2 hit enter all right now we need to set up the passwords for these users. Okay, and we can do that by using this password command. And we have to follow it with the user we want to add the password for. So the first one we're gonna do is user one. We're gonna give it the password. Remember, you will not be able to see the password as you type it. All right, if they don't match, Linux will tell you. If they do, it will say success. We're gonna do the same thing. Hit the up arrow on your keyboard, switch the user to U02, and give them the same password. Okay, so we're going to, we just did all those steps. Let's confirm that these users have been created. Right now, we're gonna create a new group called admins with the group add command. So group add, admins, okay? It's admin with S, yep. And after we create this group, we are going to add the users, user 01 and user 02 to this group. Now you can do it the step-by-step -step way here in the labs, or you can use this shortcut that I'm getting ready to show you. So we're going to do user mod dash AG, right? We're adding group. We're adding somebody to this admins group and it's going to be user 01. And then what I'm going to do, since we have to add somebody else to this group, I'm gonna use these two ampersand signs to run another command which is the same thing we're doing, user mod dash AG, space admins group for user O2. So this should run this first command, adding user O1 to the admins group, and then run this second command to add user O2 to the admins group. And we should be good to go. You can do it one by one, or you can use this fancy new trick you just learned. Uh, where are we? Okay, let's confirm. Oh no, we have to create. Actually, we have to add user 02 to a different group. It's wrong. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add another group, group add called devs. Okay, group add devs. And we're going to add 
user O2 to apps. Let me clear my screen first and then I'll do it. User, user mod dash AG. We want to add user two to devs. Is it devs with an S? Yep. User O2. Okay, and let's remove user O2 from the admins group. All right, so we're gonna learn a new command. G pass word dash D user O2. And we're gonna remove them from the admins group. All right. Okay, so let's confirm. Okay, we have user O2 in the devs group. All right, we have user 01 in the admins group. Okay. All right, cool. Now let's go to the next section here. And here we're gonna create a few files and folders. All right, and if you remember to create a directory, you know, you can refer to a directory as a folder too. To create the directory, we're going to use the make dir command. We're going to create one called projects. If I spell it right. Let's hit the up arrow and make a folder under projects called IT projects. And let's hit the up arrow two times to make another folder called dev projects. Okay. Let's make sure that these consist. Make sure this exists. Now we want to run these commands here to create these two files. Okay, so we have two files that we're gonna create. We're gonna start with this one. Using the touch command, we have touch projects. Remember you can hit the tab button to finish this. Service.txt. Let's see what is this one programming.txt and do touch projects dev projects programming.txt let's go ahead and confirm that that exists and that exists okay Let's go to the next section. Now we're going to configure ownership of these files and folders. Remember in our last lab with the Windows server, we configured ownership by right clicking the folder and going to the properties and then going to the security tab. Well, here on Linux, we don't have to do that. We can do it. I mean, you could on Windows too, but here on Linux, we're going to go and do it from the actual command line. So first, let's look at the permissions that are currently set for the projects folder by using this command. All right, so you can see the owner is root and the group it belongs to is root. Okay, these are the permissions right here. The owner, which has these permissions, which is the first group or the first set. The owner can read for R, write for W, and execute for X. This one for the group, they can execute X and read. And the last permission set is for everybody else. And apparently everybody else can execute. Okay, so we wanna change this. We wanna change some things here, which is listed here. 
looks like we want to give user one and the admins group permission to this folder. And then we're going to give user two and the devs group permission to this folder. All right. We're going to do this with the shown command. And shown stands for change ownership. So let's shown dash R, which is for recursive. We want user 01, that's the user, and the group to have permissions to IT projects. And then we want to change permission or ownership for user O2 to user O2 in the devs group for projects under the devs projects. Okay. And what are, this dash R does. So any other folders that get created under this IT projects will also share the same permissions um, that we, we're setting here or ownership. Same thing here. Any child folders that are created under dev projects will share the same ownership that we've created here. It's recursive. Now let's go ahead and look at the permissions or the ownership for IT projects. You can see user is the owner and the group that this folder belongs to is admins. And if we do ls dash l for the projects IT projects folder, whoops, you can see the sim something similar. All right, we see the permissions for that text for that file that's under there, servers.txt file. You see the owner can read and write. People in the group can read and everyone else can read as well, too. Okay, so who is the owner and what group is associated with the projects IT projects? Well, the owner is user01 and the groups is the admins group. Now let's change some of these permissions around. I'm going to clear my screen, ls-ld, projects IT. As you can see, these permissions read, write, execute, execute and read for the group, execute for everyone else. And they want us to configure the permissions according to this table below. Okay, we have to configure the permissions according to this table the projects and IT group, user 01s and admins should be able to do this. User 02 and admins should be able to do that. All right, let's get to it. Okay, this is pretty simple. We're not gonna use the chone command here. We are going to use the shamad command this time. All right, shamad means change modifications or mo modify the permissions. So let's do this one first. All right, so we're going to type in shamad for change mode. All right, the user should be able to do what? Read, write, and execute. Why are we picking that? Because we see read, write, and execute here. The user should be able to read, write, and execute. All right. And the group should be able to read, write, and execute as well. And then the owner should be able to read and execute, or others, I'm sorry, others, whoops. Others should be able to read and execute. Make sure that's right, the user Right, the owner, the user should be able to read, write, and execute. That's the first set of permissions. It's the first three. The next three, the group 
should be able to read, write, and execute. And then everyone else or others should only be able to read and execute. But we have the permission set, but who for or what for? For projects, IT projects. Um, projects, IT projects, uh, let's do it like this. Let's do mod user equals rewrite x oh you know what i think i need a comma here i'm gonna put a comma in between these there we go so change mode right we're going to change the mode of this Of this file or this folder this directory for users to read write execute group to read write execute and others to read and execute they should not be able to write according to what we're supposed to do here and for the next one we're going to change mode you know same concept it's going to read write execute group says read write execute and others are going to read execute. All right, so it's similar. And this is for dev projects. All right, so let's check the score to see if we got it right. Permissions look good. Uh, let's look at this. Oh, so they have it here for you, actually. The commands we just ran, so that's good. I thought they left us hanging for a second. All right, so let's go to the next section. But before we do, what did we do here? What just happened? We just configured the permissions for these directories. Okay, we are locking it down to what other people can do in these directories. Okay, for both of them, we're making sure that only the user can write. Everyone else can read it, right? Including everyone who belongs to the group but only the user and the group owners can write to this file. Okay. All right, let's go to the next section. Which command below adds user A to group Z? It's going to be this one. Enter the command to create a file named file A in a directory named test. All right, so how are you gonna create a file named file A in a directory named test? I'll give you a second before I type it in. Okay, so we're going to use the touch command followed by, what do we need? Into the commands, create a file named file A in a directory called test. So the file will be file A. Hopefully we get this right. Here we go. Into the command to set admin as the user and IT as the group for a directory named infrastructure and all of its contents. So that's going to be recursive. So we're going to use shown dash capital R. The user is admin. The group is IT for infrastructure. Cool. Which of the following best described steps you took in this activity? Created users and groups and set permissions on files and directories, created users and groups, added users to groups, created directories and files, configured ownership, configured permissions, configured users and password, removed unnecessary users. No, we didn't. Configured file and directory ownership. This is a little bit more descriptive of what we've just done. And that is it, y'all. Please let me know how you like this video. Um, if you if you definitely enjoyed playing around with the terminal and, and learning the new tips and tricks that we showed here that was not included in in the labs, please let us know. We can start doing that more often. If there's something that you want to see more of, let us know in the comment section. 
other than that stay tuned for the next video if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button so you are alerted when the next latest and greatest video comes out we'll see you all in the next section